Namaste. Welcome to Master Yourself Academy's YouTube channel. This is Narmada Rao, psychologist and an NLP trainer. Firstly, a huge thank you to each and every one of you for all your support and encouragement over the last one year. We did not know that the time flew by so quickly and it's a year already since we've started doing the videos. Thank you so much for all your love, encouragement and support. We wouldn't have come this far without all of it. And as the anniversary special, we have a very nice, wonderful topic as always today. And this is about relationships and how do you find your balance in any relationship, whether it be a husband and wife relationship, a parent to a child or an employee to an employer, either which way, every relationship, if you maintain the balance, your relationship is going to get, go great. If you don't maintain the balance, things can go a bit topsy-turvy. For example, as a husband, if you're overly available for your wife, you want to follow her wherever she goes. You want to be with her in every single moment. You never want to leave her alone and you're always with her. And whether she asks for it or not, even before she thinks of you, you're there. You're always there. Now, what happens sometimes is the wife might just get fed up of seeing you so much. Even the other way around is true. If the wife is overly available for the husband all the time, they're doing everything. The husband might feel claustrophobic or even as a mother or a father towards a child, let's say as a mother, you're overly available for your child from the time they wake up till the time they sleep, from their water to food, to studies, to play, whatever it is, you're constantly around them, taking care of every single thing for them, always there for them. They might just have a little too much of you. And do you know how boring it can get if someone has too much of something? You know that, right? Imagine you eat one rasgulla or one ice cream and you like it a lot. And so you ask for another one, you get another one. Now imagine the other person says, oh, you liked it so much. Let me give you a third helping. So far, so good. It's a little too sweet, but you're managing. Now imagine having a fourth and the fifth and the sixth ice cream or gulab jamun or some sweet of your choice. And now think about the sweet overdose. It is sweet. You love sweets. But after having a sixth or a seventh or the tenth one, would you still be as much in love with it? No, right? it gets a little too much. And that's where it's important for you to maintain a balance. Never make yourself so overly available or so unavailable that people will get too tired of you or they get used to being without you. For example, as an employee, if you're always available in the office, they'll think you have no life to live. And so they're gonna call on you left, right and center. So you think, oh my God, the office is gonna collapse if I'm not there. And you'll kid yourself to thinking that unless you go, nothing was going to happen. But just imagine, if you were to suddenly drop dead and die, do you think your office is going to shut down? No, right? Nothing shuts down because we die. Life will go on. But on the other hand, imagine you have never been available for your family because you gave work the priority and importance because of obviously it funds for your family. You've given it so much of importance that you've never really given as much of time for your family. You've never taken time off. You're always busy with work, work and work. And one fine day, God forbid, if your family disappears, are you still going to be as motivated about going to work? Think about it. The things that you're currently spending a lot of time on, be it your phone, be it work, be it anything, is it actually giving you the kind of joy that you actually want from life? Or are you just diverting your mind from things? Tomorrow, what if the people in your life are going to disappear? Would you regret making the same choices? And if you're being overly available for someone, tomorrow your life might seem nothing if the other person leaves. So never do an extreme of either this or that. Find your balance. See how much of you needs to be available for what purpose. How are you adding value? It is not the amount of time that you spend. It is the quality of time that you spend. What is the point if you spend your entire day with kids, but you're constantly shouting and nagging them? They're not going to enjoy your company. And I'm sure you know of it already. Instead of that, think about you spending a quality one hour time where it's not a monologue of lectures or instructions from your end, but you're actually having wonderful dialogues and conversations with your children where you share your story and they share theirs. Imagine how wonderful that's gonna be. Think about every single relationship in your life. Are you too much or too less? And if that is the case, how can you maintain the balance there? How much of you is actually required in every single relationship of your life? Take an honest evaluation of it. If you really don't know, ask the people around you. Do you have to be a little more or a little less of anything? See, take feedback and when they give you feedback, don't defend. 
because if you start defending yourself next time when you ask them for an opinion they're going to say oh no he asked for feedback and then he gives me reasons why bother asking at all so ideally if you know it yourself make the changes if you don't know ask feedback if people are saying trust that they have the best of intentions when they're giving you the feedback because you've asked for it take it with a pinch of salt see what do you need to do differently make sure you maintain the balance because relationship is all about the balance if you don't have the balance the relationship goes wobbly so here's wishing all of you great relationships with every single person around you take care of yourselves maintain a beautiful relationship with yourself too and keep smiling be happy and god bless and thank you so much for watching if you like this video please hit like and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you have any questions reach out to us through our website www.masteryourself.in thanks a bunch for watching have a blessed day ahead